BlizzTick is the first ever cross-platform music player manager currently available for the iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows systems. In LizTick, the audio files are synced peer-to-peer -peer using the fast local wireless network, not impaired by internet connection speeds or data plans, and they don't alter the sound quality. This is my music library in LizTick. It displays my music sorted by artist, album, or song, and I can even customize the view to show local files only, or files available to play, local and streaming, or all songs. Tapping all songs allows me to select my viewing mode from all songs, to local to streaming, and to local songs. All songs are going to be local songs that are currently on our device. Local plus streaming is all the songs that are on our current device, plus all the devices that are in our personal local network. And then all songs are going to be all the songs in our music library. The genre allows me to select the genre from my music list. And down the bottom we have four tabs such as artist, albums, all songs, and playlists. LizTick can easily import your existing music on your iPhone just by clicking or tapping on the plus button. So you see here on the menu I have some songs that need the plus button. If I tap on that, I'm going to get this syncing notification letting me know that the songs are now being added into my library. Opening up the side menu, I can also scroll down and import music from my iTunes library, from Dropbox, or from Google Drive. Tap on one of those and it's going to load up your Dropbox folder so you can select the folder you would like to import music from. Tap on Google Drive and again you can select the folder to import music from. And selecting iTunes will automatically import all of the music that is found on your current device. You can also add single albums by hitting the plus button or songs by hitting the plus button and also playlists by hitting the plus button. Once Dropbox or Google Drive have been added, the plus button will turn into a drive icon or Dropbox icon if the music is stored in the cloud. Listic provides all key music player functionalities, displays album and artist images, and lets you share what you're listening to on Facebook, Twitter, and email. So here in the music player view, we have all of our playback controls down at the bottom. We can control our volume by sliding on the volume slider here. We can go ahead and scrub through the song by using the scrubber. We can turn repeat on and we can also turn shuffle on. Up in the top right hand corner we have the share button which will allow me to share this with airdrop, messages, mail, twitter, facebook or even copy it. If the song isn't currently in your music library, you'll notice the iTunes symbol in the top left hand corner letting you know it's not been imported into your LizTick library yet. If I tap and hold on any one of the songs, it's going to bring up a menu where I'll be able to add this to a playlist. Manage it will let me directly download or upload the song to my device. And if I tap get info, I can actually edit the song's metadata, adding in photos, titles, albums, composers, and anything that I would like to. Once you've made all the changes, tap save in the top right hand corner to save your changes. Use the manage function to directly add or delete songs or albums to or from any of your personal devices. Once it's green, it lets me know it's on my device and if I tap on it, the yellow will let me know that it's going to be uploaded to my device the next time I log into it. In the playlist tab, you can see the last 50 songs that have been added to your library by tapping most recent songs. You can scroll through and view those songs here. You'll notice on the playlist the iTunes symbol letting me know that this is from my iPhone's music library and it has not been imported into LizTick yet. Tap on the plus button and it's going to import them all into LizTick. If I'd like to delete a playlist, swipe on it to delete it and it removes it from my LizTick library. And tapping on the plus button in the top right hand corner will allow me to create a new playlist. Tap on the top left hand corner to bring out your side menu or you can enable streaming mode. Tap on that, you're going to get a pop-up letting you know that LizTick has to remain active while your device acts as a streaming source. It keeps your device awake and that allows all of your other local devices to stream all the content from your device to your other devices. Once streaming mode is enabled, the menu button in the top left hand corner will turn to orange letting you know that your device is currently in the streaming mode. In the side menu, you'll see the list of your devices. If they are green, that means they are currently connected to your network and tapping on one will bring you into the edit mode where you can manage all of the songs for that device. Tapping on one of these songs or albums will turn it yellow, letting you know that it's going to be uploaded to that device the next time you log into it. And green will mean that the song is currently stored on the device. And red will mean the song will be deleted from your device. And gray or white mean that it's currently not stored. 
Tap Done to save your changes. Tapping on Synchronize will manually synchronize any of the changes that you have made with the server. If I were to hit the plus button, it will do it automatically, but hitting Synchronize, you see we get the Activities menu where I can see everything that's going on and all the songs or music that's being uploaded or downloaded. In the main menu below my devices, you can see your cloud storage, such as Dropbox and Google Drive, import music from your music library, Dropbox or Google Drive, and then enter your settings. In the settings, you have the option to sync only over Wi-Fi, show your iOS music library, check for new songs, group by album artist, and display the output quality. You can toggle any of these options on or off by sliding the sliders on or off. In the cloud locations, you can tap to log into your cloud storage, such as Dropbox and Google Drive. In the audio settings, you can use the external audio processors to change the output from 44.1 kHz by default, all the way up to 192 kHz for premium sound quality. Let's put our iPhone into streaming mode and see what all of our other devices look like. Here's Listic on our Android device. We can tap in the top left hand corner to open up our menu where we can synchronize, enable streaming mode, view all of our devices, view cloud storage, and import our music. In the top right hand corner, we can search. We can scroll through all of our artists, albums, and all songs. You'll notice the icon here is the cloud letting me know that these are all stored on a different device, such as our iPhone that we're streaming from. In our playing field, we can use the volume, scrubber, playback controls, rate the song, and tap and view different album artwork if we have initiated that. To get songs on your device off of your other one, we'll come into manage mode. So we'll tap on our device here, currently the Moto XT1034. And now we'll tap on songs and albums we'd like to add. You see they turn yellow, letting me know that they'll be added to my device. Tap done to save your changes, and it's going to synchronize all of the songs from your iPhone onto your Android phone. LizTick for the Mac works just like you would imagine iTunes. On the left hand side here we have our side menu where we can see all of our devices, playlists, music library, cloud locations, and account information. In the top left hand corner we have our playback controls where we have our audio scrubber, our music volume, our play pause, skip forward and back, repeat, and shuffle. Double clicking on a song, any song will allow us to play it. Notice it loads up here in the top left hand corner. Once the song is loaded, it'll begin playing, and we have all of our playback information up here in the top of the menu, such as the album artwork, the artist information, song name, and album name. We can rate it with a five-star system. Clicking on share will allow us to share it with email, messages, Facebook, and Twitter. And we also have a secondary album artwork that we can add in the metadata of the songs. Right-clicking on a song will allow us to add this to a playlist and create a new playlist. And getting information will bring us into the metadata information where we can edit all the song information and even add in our secondary artist artwork. Click save to save all of your changes. Up in the top menu, we can sort all of our views by artists, albums, or all songs. And then we can even sort and view by genre. Tapping on genre allows us to select all or select specific genres to view inside of Liz Tick. Clicking on manage will allow us to manage the songs and allow us to add, remove, or sync songs to specific devices. You'll notice we have numbers up here, one, two, three, and four. They're gonna coincide with the numbers over here on the left-hand side of our devices, one, two, three, and four. Click on one and it's gonna turn it yellow. If it's currently gray, that means that the song is not being synced with our device. Yellow will let us know that the next time we open and synchronize our device, it will go ahead and add it there. Green lets me know that it's currently on my device. And if any of them were red, it lets me know that it's gonna remove it from my device. This icon here on the left hand side tells me the current location of the song. It's currently being stored on my personal device, such as my iPhone or my number four, which currently is green, which is going to be my iPhone. Once you're done managing all of your music, click save to save all of your changes. And you can choose to stream down here in the bottom left hand corner to actually enable your Mac to be the streaming service to where all of your other personal devices can access the music that are stored here on LizTick on the Mac. LizTick, your music on any device, anywhere, anytime. 
Sign up for free at LizTick.com and download it in the App Store and Google Play Store today.